everyone, I'm Teresa with ConfidentlyClueless.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these little shells that I use as an applique on this crown here. And I'm going to put the written instructions on my website at www.confidentlyclueless.com To start out this shell pattern, we're going to start with a magic circle. And to do a magic circle, you'll hold your tail yarn down here, wrap around both fingers, and make an X in the front. You'll take your crochet hook, go underneath this strand, grab this strand, and pull it through your circle. Okay. Now you'll take your working yarn and pull it through that loop that you have on the hook. And then we'll tighten that down just like a slip stitch. Now we're going to do five single crochet into this circle. So we'll start that with going through the circle. Grab your working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. There you have your first single crochet. Alright, we'll do that again. Go through your circle, grab your working yarn, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now we have two. Three. four, and five. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of lightly pinch here, grab the tail of your yarn, and pull. And this will tighten up your circle. Now to close this off, we're going to close it with a slip stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this stitch here, through this V, and make sure that you pick up both loops on your crochet hook. Now you're going to grab your working yarn, yarn it over, pull through that, and then pull through the loop that you have on your hook. Now you've closed it with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do a chain one, which you just yarn over and pull through the loop that you have on your hook. We're going to go back into the same stitch that we're working in, and we're going to do a half double crochet. So you yarn over, go through the same stitch you were working on, grab your working yarn, pull that through, now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Ooh. I almost lost it there. Okay, now we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch. You just go through your st stitch, grab your working yarn, and pull it through the loop you have on your hook. Now the next stitch is going to be a half double crochet, so we're going to yarn over, go through the next stitch, grab your working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Alright, now you should have it looking kind of flat right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch here. And we're going to chain two. One. And two. Now we're going to do a double crochet back into the same stitch. So you yarn over. Go back through your same stitch, grab your working yarn, pull through, yarn over, go through two of the loops on your hook, yarn over again, and then go through the last two. So now you can say that you have two double crochet in the same stitch. Now this next stitch we're going to do three triple crochet. And how you do that is you wrap your yarn around your crochet hook twice. Go into the stitch, pull your working yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. I'm going to do that again in the same stitch, wrap twice, go into your stitch, pull your working yarn through, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. We're going to do this one more time in this same stitch here. Okay, and now you should have three triple crochets into the same stitch. Now the next stitch we're going to go back down to a double crochet. So you only wrap once. Go into your next stitch. Pull your working yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and to match the other side, what we're going to do here is we're going to chain two. And then we're going to go back into the same stitch we just did that double crochet in. And we're going to slip stitch it to that. So you go in through your stitch, grab your working yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. Okay. Now we've kind of got a flat stitch here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in on this side. Into the next stitch, and we're just going to do a slip stitch there. Okay, now to finish off, you simply yarn over, pull through that stitch there, take your scissors, cut your yarn, Pull that through and tighten it down. Okay, and there you have, once you sew in your ends, you'll have your little shell. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.